Hey, trying to connect your Gmail or Google Sheets to make.com and suddenly an error pops up? Ooh, I know, super annoying, but don't worry, this fix takes less than three minutes and it works. Welcome to Carlo G. I'm here to make your automation journey smoother, one click at a time. All right, let's solve this. Step one, open Google Cloud Console. Log in with the Google account you want to connect. Click create a project. Name it something like make automation. Once it's created, click select project. Now go to the menu on the left. Click API and services. Then enable API and services. Search for Gmail API. Select it, click Enable. Repeat that for Google Drive API. Search, select, enable. Cool. Now comes the important part, OAuth setup. Go back to the menu, click on OAuth consent screen. Type the app name make.com, enter your email wherever it asks. Choose external. Agree, continue, then click create. Now under credentials, click create OA client ID. Choose web application, name it make.com, time to add some redirect URLs, don't stress, I've listed them in the description or pinned comment, just copy and paste one by one. Then click create, done, now go to branding. Add the authorized domain make.com or integroma.com. Click Save. Next, test users, add your email address. Click Save again. Now let's add permissions. Click Add or Remove Scopes. Search Gmail API. Select All Scopes. Click Update. Do the same for Google Drive API, select all, click update, click save, and that's it for setup. Let's go back to make.com. Click advanced settings. Paste your client ID and client secret from Google Cloud. Name your connection, anything you like. Click sign in with Google. Yes, you'll get a few warnings. Uh, just click continue. Uh, allow the permissions, it's safe. And done, you're connected. Now select your folders or labels and start building your automations. And that's how you fix the Google integration error in make.com. If this helped you like the video and hit subscribe, I've got more AI automation tutorials coming your way, including how to build full workflows in make. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, subscribe Carlo G. Bye.